Hey y'all, Paul Surf here, and in this video, I want to go over how to make the most money in different categories. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's get right into it. For the first category, let's talk about urgent requests. Villagers will post two different requests on the community board next to Sam's General Shop. The first type is Urgent Requests, which will give you two days to deliver the requested item. The second one is Grow Me Something, which will give you enough time to fully grow the item and hand it in. These are great early because you will get two times the amount of the sell price for the Grow Me Something Aaron, and you will get three times the amount for the urgent request. Quality does not matter for any of these request items, and also you'll get a little bit of friendship when you complete a quest. The BOS hideout has some requests too, such as slaying some monsters or requesting items like metal bars or monster loot. For the slaying monsters, you will not get friendship, but you will get money, and for the requesting items, you will get friendship as well. Let's look at the second category, and that's going to be foraging. You can find forageables all over the island, such as the beach, the forest area, the lake, the vine guard, and even town trash cans. You can put any wild forageable flower inside of a bee house to make some honey. Also, on the 15th of every month, there's going to be coconuts that spawn for a few days. These coconuts are going to be great for gifting, for selling, or even just restoring your stamina. Fishing and catching bugs can be really good as well. Let's look at fishing first. If you go to the west side of your farm and down this path, you'll be able to catch something called a sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers sell for a base of 175 gold each, which is pretty good early on. Later on, the Great White Shark and the Hammerhead are also really great fish to catch for money as well. A really special thing to note though, time no longer pauses while you're fishing. I would not recommend making most of your money from fishing, but it can definitely help you out. For insects, fireflies are actually pretty good, but they only appear at night. Later on, butterflies, spiders, and moths sell for a lot of money. You're looking at the blue Morpho butterflies, tarantulas, atlas moths, and the crowned hair streak butterfly. A big tip with catching bugs is to try to dash in the direction where the bug is moving, like in this clip. You can catch most bugs in the game like this, other than a few of them. Make sure you invest into flying insect traps and ground insect traps. That way you can automate catching and you can focus on different parts of the game. This leads us into our next category, which are critter houses. You will find these over at the carpenter shop, but you also get one for free for leveling up both catching and fishing, and I believe it's around level 8. Non-legendary fish and insects will spawn every 2 days, while legendary fish and insects will spawn every four days. You need to put two of the same fish and insects in the respective houses for them to start duplicating. Pick the most expensive fish and insects at your point of the game and update your houses as you upgrade your tools and catch better stuff. While you won't make a whole lot of money from these, just like fishing and catching in general, these do provide experience for both of their respective categories. Next up, we have barn and coop animals. At first glance, you might assume that luwak and peafowls are really good options to make a lot of money, but you can only have four of them. Because of these limitations, I like to invest mainly in goats and quail. You can buy as many as you want and they make you a ton of money, either in early game and even late game. Goats can be milked once every two days and their cheese sells for up to 1,400 apiece. You can make even more money by fermenting it with the aging barrel for close to 5,000 gold. Goats are not unlocked until D rank, so I would recommend buying sheep while you're waiting. Sheeps make you a decent amount of money, but honestly, you might want to save some of the wool because you actually make auto petters from wool. For the quails, you'll want a mason jar to process all the eggs into a large salted quail egg that sells for about 595 gold. Then you can place that into an aging barrel so you can make a large century quail egg which sells for a little over 1,700. Before you get aging barrels, you could just make large quail mayonnaise which sells for about 700. 190 gold apiece. It's not as good, but it only takes 5 hours to process it into mayonnaise, so it's still a really good option. Make sure you diversify your animals anyway, because you will need some things for the goddess altars, but goats and quail will be your big money makers overall on the ranching front. Next up is gonna be farming, and there is a lot to talk about. In spring, potatoes are a fantastic starter crop for both experience and money. Town Rank D unlocks sugarcane, which is the best spring crop to sell raw. 
Strawberries are also really good once you process them with kegs. In summer, hot peppers are a good start at F rank. And if you want to make a little bit of honey money, then Guardia and Sunflower Seeds are your best bet. At Town Rank E, I would switch over to Radishes. At Town Rank D, I would switch over to either Pineapples or Lilies. Pineapples are great to sell raw and also to sell once you get kegs. But Lilies actually sell for a little bit more both in honey form and in mead form. For the fall season, it gets very interesting because we have a lot of choices. At F rank, I would suggest selling eggplants. Or, if you want to make honey, Orchard honey is actually really good. Town Rank E, pumpkins sell for a lot raw, but you would actually get more money from selling rice. You're going to need at least a keg before rice starts taking over pumpkin cell. And it gets even better when you get aging barrels. Once you get to Town Rank D, Blue Dahlia and Lilies are really close. I would actually opt for Blue Dahlia because the seed price is a little bit cheaper. And at C rank, I would actually switch over to Fairy Rose. Once you get to town rank B, everything changes because you unlock cactuses. Cactuses are considered a flower in this game, so you could turn that into honey. Then you could take the cactus honey and put it into an aging barrel to get cactus mead. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets nerfed in the future, but as of 1.0, you can sell one cactus mead for a base of 10 if you focus all of your money endgame, you can make millions upon millions with the strategy. And last, we have Winter. Winter is very special because you won't see anything at Sam's shop unless you're at Town Rank C. And out of the three things, the Snowdrop Flowers are by far your best bet. And lastly, we have Mining and Kelp. This is by far my favorite way to make money, which requires zero processing as of 1.0. After you finish the earth, water, and wind mines, you're going to unlock the fire mine. You are going to make the most money from the fire mines. As of 1.0, each osmium ore piece sells for 150 base. This actually gets increased to 172 per piece if you grab the gem price perk. You can visit floors 1, 5, 15, and 25, and 30 slash 31 but you can also spend the whole day here and make a lot of money. I have gone up to 500 ore in one day and made so much money from mining. Make sure you upgrade your pickaxe with all the enhancements over at the Giant's Village with Rare Drop, Hit Drop, and Extra Drop to get max value in the mines. Osmium Kelp sells for 150 apiece, but with the Artifact Price perk, it actually goes to 192. It is by far a super easy, quick way to make a lot of money and you don't have to process it into essence to get the value. I'm not sure if you all agree, but I do wish that they would buff metal bars and essences. Even if that means that they have to nerf ore and kelp, I still think that we should be rewarded for processing all of our resources. But there you have it. I've touched on every category and how I like to make a lot of money. Let me know in the comments below any of your thoughts, opinions, and if I missed anything, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.